Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about financial function called as XIRR or internal rate of return. Before trying to implement this function in Power BI, let's try to understand what this function means with some definition and also some simple example in Excel. Here I have some explanation on what is internal rate of return. The internal rate of return is a metric used in financial analysis to estimate the profitability of potential investments. The internal rate of return is a discount rate that makes the net present value of all cash flows equal to zero in a discounted cash flow analysis. IRR calculation rely on the same formula as NPV does. So now let's quickly go to Excel and with the help of an example, let's try to understand what is internal rate of return. I'm using the same example which I used in my previous video to calculate the net present value. This is the same data set which I used in my previous video on calculating net present value. If you haven't watched my previous video, please go ahead and check out my video on NPS, NPV. So here I have the data which has project name, date, cash flow, interest rate. And as you can see here, I have a cash flow or initial investment of $275. And in the year two, that is 2021, I have cash inflow of $100. And 22, I have $200. 23, $150. And in the year four, that is 2024, I have $75 as cash inflow. So to calculate IRR, we have a built-in function here, use IRR and the values of all the cash flows, that is inflows and outflows, and hit enter. So my internal rate of return for these cash flows is 33.22%, okay? So this is the rate of return, right? The alternate rate of return where my net present value becomes zero, okay? Let's try that. So if I use this interest rate, paste it here, let's check if my NPV becomes zero. As you notice here, so with this, internal rate of return, my net present value becomes zero. So what does it mean? So let's say if I have any alternate investment opportunity, let's say greater than this rate, 33.22%, let's say I have an alternate investment which, which can give me a, a return of 35%, I will be losing out some money by doing an investment in this particular venture. So to check that, let's let's say I have an alternate interest rate that is 35% here. Okay, let me paste this here. So now if you notice my net present value should become zero. If you notice here, yes, it's, it's changing, it's becoming negative. So basically if I do an investment in this venture, I'll be losing this amount of money because my alternate venture can me, can fetch me 35%. So this is what exactly internal rate of return means. So if you want to compare any two projects or investment decisions, you can use internal rate of return. Now let's quickly go to Power BI and with the help of built-in function, let's try to understand and calculate the internal rate of return. But before we go to PBI, let's quickly look at the syntax in the Microsoft documentation page and then try to implement it. So here we have the syntax, XIRR, and it takes four parameters, the table, the values, the values in, our, in this case is the cash flows and the dates of all the cash flows. And guess it's an optional. So I'm not gonna use optional and leave it blank. And we have the return value, internal rate of return for the given inputs. Now let's go to PBI and try to use this function. So here we have some da sample data set. And this is exactly the same data which I used in my previous video to calculate the net present value. I have uh, two projects name here, ABC and XYZ, and the date of uh, the cash flows ranging from 2020 to 21, 20 to 23 and 24 respectively for two projects and the cash flows and the interest rate. 
So now let's quickly go to the reports here and then try to calculate the internal rate of return. So click on new measure. X I R R equal to use the function X I R. The table here is the fact table and the values is my cash flows and dates. I already have the fact dates and we have the guests. I'm not going to use this and leave it blank and hit enter. So now let me format this into percentage and then two decimal points. Now let me quickly bring this XIR into the values here. And this is exactly what we observed in Excel, 33.17 percentage. That's the internal rate of return for the project ABC company and XYZ company, we have 42.31 percentage. So this is how we calculate uh, XIRR, our internal rate of return in Power BI. And hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please drop me a note in the comment section and I'm gonna revert back to you, okay? And thanks for watching. Have a great day.